growing concern at the southern border. Nearly 13,000 migrants huddling under a bridge in Texas, mostly from Haiti after that devastating earthquake. ABC's Marcus Moore tonight from Texas. Tonight, city leaders declaring a state of emergency in the small Texas town of Del Rio. Nearly 13,000 men, women, and children have converged on the border town to seek asylum. And they're being held in squalid conditions in this temporary staging area under the Del Rio International Bridge. What you see behind me are individuals that have not even been processed or detained. The shade under the bridge offering little escape from stifling triple-digit heat, food, and clean water becoming scarce. This is as bad as I've ever seen it. Governor Greg Abbott ordering state police and National Guard to assist overwhelmed border agents. Sources say the majority of the migrants are from Haiti, the nation still reeling from the assassination of its president and last month's earthquake. <inaudible> More than 208,000 apprehensions were reported at the southern border in August, a 317% increase over the same month last year. Today, DHS Secretary Alexander Mayorkas saying that they are working to address the influx, stating they will employ the use of Title 42, a Trump-era health policy which permitted the expulsion of migrants without allowing them to seek asylum. We have authorities by reason of that special circumstance, and we will exercise those authorities. And David, more people could be on the way. Officials anticipate that an additional 8,000 men and women could come here over the next several days. Customs and Border Protection officials trying to get a handle on this situation that seems to be getting worse. David. Marcus Moore in Del Rio tonight. Marcus, thank you. This again this morning. Morgan, good morning. Yeah, Peter, good morning. And we are learning more about those plants from ICE. But at this moment, just about a quarter mile from where I'm standing underneath this international bridge uh, separating Del Rio from Mexico, there is a group of, at last check, 13,700 men, women, and children, as you mentioned, from mostly Haiti, uh, that are waiting to be processed by the Border Patrol. But there is simply not the staff to keep up here. Their numbers have swelled tremendously over the last several days. Just on Wednesday, the group numbered about 5,000. Uh, and now it has more than doubled. Officials fear that there may be more migrants headed this direction, numbered in the thousands, and that's why they are trying to get federal resources here as fast as possible to keep up. In the meantime, video of this place where they are staying underneath the bridge shows uh, brutal conditions. Uh, temperatures here hovering around 100 degrees. We know that uh, food, water in short supply there, despite some being handed out, and there are only a few dozen restrooms for the crowd, numbering in the thousands. I had a chance to speak to the county sheriff here on this ongoing situation. Here's what he had to say. Well, right now, the people that are under that bridge, they're waiting for a process. And they don't know when, if any help, could arrive. You know, they might be here three or four days. They might be here three or four weeks. And in internal documents uh, reviewed by NBC News from ICE, we are learning they are planning to resume deportation flights uh, as soon as possible. Some of those flights could be starting tomorrow. We know that each plane carries about 135 migrants, so when you have a group as large as this, it will take some time. They will not only be flown back to Haiti, but to also other U.S. processing centers to hopefully alleviate some of the overcrowding issues here. Uh, and we're also hearing people calling upon the government to not necessarily fly them back to Haiti because, of course, that country is still reeling from that 7.2 magnitude earthquake that struck on August 14th, on top of the fact their president was assassinated just a few months ago, uh, a, a period of incredible instability there. But as it stands right now, this group getting larger, and they are waiting for more help to arrive on the Texas border. Our individual bodies themselves, in the words of Klaus Schwab, it is a scientific dictatorship. It is a new form of 21st century war. And at the heart of their takeover plan is replacement migration. It's on the United Nations' own website. A program, a plan to collapse the third world and then organize billions of desperate people to then invade the once powerful, rich Western world. Not to empower the invading migrants, but to collapse those economies as part of a larger cloud and piven strategy. Joe Biden learned tonight about why this happened, because this is a man-made crisis. Eight days ago, on September 8th, under that same bridge, there were between 700 and 1,000 people. That was what was coming a day, about 1,000, sometimes 1,100, but it would range between 700 and 1,100. Then, eight days ago, on September 8th, the Biden administration made a political decision. They announced that they were no longer going to fly deep 
deportation flights back to Haiti. 85% of the people under there are from Haiti. They're fleeing from Haiti. They announced they weren't going back. There were about 900 Haitians who were getting ready to board the flights when the political operatives in Washington canceled the flights. Well, what happened? Those 900 people, they all pulled out their cell phones and they emailed their friends and they emailed their families and they texted their friends and their families. That was eight days ago on September 8th. Today, it's September 16th, eight days later, and 700 people has grown to 10,500 because the word has gone out. If you're from Haiti, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris have said, we have open borders, come to Del Rio, and they will let you in. Everyone under that bridge is turning themselves in, and it's a political decision that Joe Biden could end tonight by simply following the law and saying, we are going to send people back to Haiti, which is what federal immigration law requires until Biden and Harris got in office. This is underneath one bridge. 10,503 illegal aliens. A mass of humanity that has crossed and is waiting to come into America. The reason they're here is simple. Eight days ago, deportation flights to Haiti. They did that on September 8th. Eight days later, these numbers appear. On September 8th, underneath this bridge, there were between 700 and 1,000 people. But when the word got out that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris were no longer deporting people who came from Haiti, suddenly everyone who was here called their friends, called their family, and the numbers surged to 10,503. That's what's here today. It is more than the capacity of the Border Patrol to handle. This is the result of a political decision. This is a result that is indefensible. September 16th, we're here in Del Rio, Texas, and right behind me over my shoulder, you can see the International Bridge, where currently 9,200 undocumented migrants are being kept from Haiti. It's important to note that the U.S. government doesn't want you to see this. The Biden administration does not want you to see this. So as of this morning, they established a federal no-fly zone to make sure that news media cannot fly drones anywhere near this bridge to document these 9,200 migrants that are currently being kept in a camp underneath that bridge. Other news agencies, up until yesterday, were able to obtain some of that footage, and you'll see that footage here on our show. But as of this morning, the federal government has cracked down and now are working actively to prevent the American people from finding out what's taking place on our border. Namely, that human waves, human caravans are slamming, slamming repeatedly into our southern border and completely overwhelming the U.S. Border Patrol, Texas Highway Patrol, local authorities, and the Texas National Guard that are here trying to stem the tide. Shalom, this is Harawan by Yasha Allah of the Lions Den Camp. I want to say Ka Halayim, Leyahawa, Bahashim, Hawashai, Bahashim, Harakakodash, Ma'amah. Double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and the elders. Shalom to you, Akim, Nakwati, my children, that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. Yeah, man, they got the uh, Haitian borders or the, uh, the borders of Texas and uh, uh, New Mexico being flooded with uh, Haitian refugees that they call them migrants. They're using all these different uh, political terms so they can, um, you know, be as sheep led to the slaughter. Now, uh, now you heard, uh, what's his name, Ted Cruz speaking about Biden and uh, Pamela, whatever her name is, um, speaking about Biden putting out a, a, a open call about eight days ago on the 8th. And now you got uh, thousand, ten, 
up to 10,000 uh, people on the border. You have Colombians. Well, you you know they're the, uh, uh, part of the 12 tribes of Israel, all right? The tribes of Asher and um, uh, Levi. And you got other tribes of Israel there too from South America. Now you still have uh, Mexico, the borders of Mexico, Issachar, and you have Afghan refugees coming over here too. All right. So, <laughs> and then on top of that, you have over there in Afghanistan, you have um, a lot of, uh, what would they be called? Like reporters or ambassadors over there that were set up by America in Afghanistan. And now that the Taliban is in place, they um, I think it's Taliban, right? Yeah, the Taliban. Now that they're in place, now they're um, they're over there cutting off people's heads, man. So they, you know, and Biden just leaving them stranded. All right. So he's showing that what he's incompetent, man, and it's all by design. It's all by design to show the demise and the fall of this empire called Babylon. All right. Now, it reminds me of um, the Ip Man movie, IP Man. When, uh, uh, what was that, China and Hong Kong, they closed off their borders. I always caught that in the, in the beginning of the intro of the movie. And uh, China closed off their borders to Hong Kong. Uh, you know, because there was uh, uh, too many migrants going back back and forth, or really over there to China. All right, and t China kept going into famine, just like uh, due to um, uh, uh, weak policies, you know, corrupt policies, just like Biden's pushing today. Now, what happened was you had some a situation that happened to where where people would have like two plates when they're eating at a restaurant, you know, some rich people would maybe have like three, four. Well, at that time, because of the migrants, it was called the flood of waves of migrants. That's what it was called. The flood and the waves of, of immigrants. All right. Well, what happened was they had to um, they had to, they had to downsize to you know it'd be like one person with three plates. Now it's one person, one plate because those other two plates got to go to the new miles that have to be fed because of the migrants. The children, the families, the mothers, the the fathers. All right, and then after a while, it became two people, one plate. It got that bad. All right, and that 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 right there would bring about a famine. Now, uh, in the midst of this falling economy, and this uh, government breakdown. <laughs> They're bringing in a financial uh, uh, collapse. They're bringing in migrants. And we know what their, their ultimate goal is. And also, this is to what? To tip the scale, man. All right, this, this right here can definitely destroy the economy, especially if you have uh, a weather event. Now they're talking about shipping them back to Haiti and all this madness. In Colombia and different parts, it ain't gonna happen. They're gonna spread them out. They're gonna, uh, 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 what do you call it, man? They talking about detaining them. See that once they get detained, they can give them a, a certain status here in America, all right, as a prisoner, and then be released, like a catch and release. <laughs> so, hey, man, that's what's happening, man. It's being done by people like. George Soros, all right? You got um, also um, the Biden administration that's, that's backed by the Rothschilds, 
All right. We remember when um, the uh, the Rothschilds chose uh, Hillary Clinton, you know, the Democrats. So we see what's happening, man. They're pushing this agenda is ultimately to tip the scale for what's about to come. All right. I had a dream a while back. I did a lesson on it to where it was like a, uh, it was like a flood. And after a while, it was a, a bigger flood behind that. And I just heard a lot of yelling, you know, on the borders of America. So now you have them flooding into Texas. And you know it's going to get the next thing you know it's going to be in Florida and uh, Louisiana, you know. But, um, you know, these things got to happen. Like Apostle Hart did a lesson talking about the, uh, the, the the multitude, the small multitude that's going to be here as well. And they have, a lot of them going to be a part of that. That's going to get delivered. All right, hear this, tr this truth. Be able to repent to Yahweh by Shem and get delivered. But check this out. This is Jeremiah 51 and 12. Set up the standard upon the walls of Babylon. Make the watch strong. Set up the watchmen, prepare the ambushes, man. All right. And ultimately, um, the standard started with the banner or the enzyme started with the Bible. The scriptures lift you up a banner upon the high mountain. All right. So the high mountain, the exalted, rich, uh, uh, great city, America, or Babylon. Rich in resources. Come here. We'll take care of you. This dude's uh, stuck in a delusion. Uh, Biden. All right. Um, set up the standard upon the walls of Babylon. Make the watch strong. Set up the watchmen. Prepare the ambushes, man. And that's what they're doing. They're, they're preparing ambushes. They even have... Um, this is this is a new way of waging war against a country to send in migrants. All right, to have it to 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 crash or destroy the third world countries and shift all their nation or people over to another country, forcing them to have to uh, you know give up a lot of their food resources, medical resources, and housing resources, man. And also um, staffing resources. All right, it, it'll it'll weaken the nation. So this is a beautiful thing, man. The Lord is uh, bringing these prophecies to pass. I'm telling you, man, this is all an event. So it says this: they're preparing ambushes, man, because you have you are um, the caravans. All right, you, you know that there's soldiers, there's gang members, there's terrorists, as they say. You know, uh, paid agents, all kind of stuff within these caravans, man. But then you got also uh, families, you know. Or they can use that to say, hey, now they've they've brought in uh, terrorists into the country to create a, a, a false flag. For Yahweh have both devised and done that which he spake against the inhabitants of Babylon. See, the Lord is, has prophesied, the watchmen have prophesied against this place, just like the marching around Jericho seven times. On the seventh time, the Lord going to destroy it. That means completion. All right, and that's our job to blow the trumpet against Babylon and prophesy against it, and the Lord is bringing it to pass. All right? The walls are being broken down. The defenses of this place, the, you know, the infrastructure. For Yahweh have both devised and done that which he have spake against the inhabitants of Babylon. It's just about the inhabitants. It's not just about the land. It's about the people here. O thou that dwellest upon many waters. That's how you know it's not talking about the Roman Empire. America surrounded by uh, ocean or water. Uh, Rome is surrounded by land and it has a little canal that comes from it or a river. 
but America's surrounded by water and it gets a lot of its, all of its resources brought in to uh, uh, freighters or um, what do you call them things? Uh, what I just say? Uh, on the water, man. Because you have over in California, they said all all the container ships they're docked off the um, the coast. They can't they can't enter in because of the new restrictions they have in place dealing with these mandates, right? They have a lot of restrictions in place and a lot of different um, testings that they're doing. And it's slowing down the process to where it's just littered out there with container ships, man, that's not entering the port, mainly textiles and things like that, which can still destroy the economy. All right? So they're working on this place, man. It, it, the scriptures say that, too. Let me get that real quick. All right? So now, Revelation 17 and, and 16. Um, no, 15. And he saith unto me, the waters which thou sawest where the horror sitteth are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues, right? That's why they call this place a melt, melting pot. And um, matter of fact, I got another scripture after this because it says, and he saith unto me, the waters which thou sawest where the horror sitteth are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. All right? Like a sea of people. That's why they, even now they're calling it waves of floods. And the ten horns over there in Europe, the European Union, which thou sawest upon the beast, all right, NATO, these shall hate the whore. All right, they all hate America right now. They want to get it out the way. And now they're putting, they're lifting up China as their new, um, what would you call it, man, trophy. <laughs> all right, they want to empower China. Thus, you have China calling for a new system that they want in place to be able to read the data of uh, um, the human body. You get my point? All right. It's given to them by the rulers of the world right now, which is Esau. All right. They're moving America out of the way with the old system, the old world order, and they're trying to set up a new world order to where China, even if you look it up, on the uh, Forbes 3000, I think it is, 300, 3000, global 3000, corporations that's ruling the world, and you'll see China as the top one. They run the world right now under um, this new system. So anyway, now, so the power is being shifted over from America to China, all right? But the Lord is going to show up in the midst of that and shut it down. Um, but this is the point. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate and naked. And that's what they're doing right now. This is part of prophecy. They're making this place desolate and they're making it naked. They're stripping her of everything, they, uh, all the resources, all right, and, and the riches and the status all right, so now, um, and shall eat her flesh. That's what they're doing, man. They're consuming this place from every angle, man. On the east coast, the west coast, on the borders with, you know, um, the storm that's hitting this place, they are striking it with energy, um, harp, H-A-A-R-P or whatever cause massive flooding or you know other situations putting these mandates in place and, and shutdowns to weaken the economy causing division through the media and it's says what and it shall eat her flesh man and at the same time devaluing the currency causing hyperinflation and and burn her with fire so they're going to have their hand in it as well when this place gets destroyed all right they're going to lead lead this place into perdition. All right. Habakkuk 2 and 1. Remember he says, set up watchmen, right? Upon the walls. And I will stand up, 2 and 1. And I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower 
and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved, right? We get reproved through the scriptures and what the Lord is saying to us, to us, to us and through us through the scriptures and prophecies, man, the spirit of truth, the Holy Spirit. And Yahweh answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that it may run, that he may run that read of it, man. So the scriptures, we read the scriptures and we run the race. All right. And we run and tell the people. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, man. So the Lord is bringing it to pass. But at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. Because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Behold, his soul which is lifted up in him is not upright in him, but the just shall live by faith, right? Even speak about Biden, you know, their their soul which is lifted up in them is not upright. Everything they're doing, their, their words are smoother than butter, but they're in with thoughts of what? Drawing swords, all right? They make an unrighteous decrees. Now, let's get to the point. Yea, also because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man. All right, the Edomites, they're proud because they transgress. They continually cause iniquity in the world through their philosophies and their deception. Neither, neither keep at home. All right, they got all their armies all out in the world. They're... Um, their ambassadors and their politicians causing confusion or chaos and they're trying to bring the order in those areas just like in Afghanistan right <laughs> they have Biden fault see what the hell he doing over there dealing with them anyway um that says uh yea because he transgressed by wine he is a proud man neither keepeth at home who enlargeth his desire as hell and is as death, man. Anything Esau put their hands in or their foot in, they bring hell, you know, sorrow and death. So through this migration, it's going to be a lot of death and sorrow. You already talking about uh, heat and starvation out there and disease, all right, and violence. It says, and cannot be satisfied. See, they're still not satisfied. They need more sorrow. All right, that's what they're into, their paganism. They satanic rituals. That's why they do false flags and blood rituals and shit. But gather unto him all nations and heap unto him all people. That's what they're doing, man. They're, they're bringing in all these people. Bible and put out a call. That way I said, it's going to be a man-made uh, disaster, man. Now they're putting, in, they're putting out a call for... Um, uh, what's the terminology, man? Um, state of emergency. All right, that's a cover-up for martial law. Pretext for martial law so that the, pre the president can have more power in those areas. Now, notice Texas was against certain mandates, just like Florida is against certain mandates. Now, let's see what happens. Under state of emergency, it gives the power over to the president All right, to be able to... Uh, do certain things. Now check this out. It says, uh, so he heaping unto him all people, man. So let's get this other precept. All right, I'm finish this out. Jeremiah 51 and 13. Um, no, 12 again. Set up the standard upon the walls of Babylon. See, make the watch strong. Set up the watchmen. Prepare the ambushes, man. So now the ambushes are happening. The prophecies are speaking. For Yahweh have both devised and done that which he spake against the inhabitants of Babylon. See that? Habakkuk 2. 13. O thou that dwellest upon many waters. All right, it's this place. And even upon many people. Abundant in treasures. See, you can read the book of Revelations where it talks about... Um, you know, let me get this real quick. All right, Revelation 18 and 16. And this is going to be the end, the outcome after a while. 
or soon. It says, and saying, 18 verse 16, and saying, alas, alas, that great city that was clothed in fine linen, talking about America, Babylon, it was a great city, uh, meaning riches and, uh, you know, wealth, and purple and scarlet and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls. For in one hour, so great riches is come to naught. All right, so that's, America is going to be destroyed in one hour when the Lord brings that final judgment, which is going to be with fire. And every ship master and all the companies and ships and sailors and as many as trade by the sea stood afar off. That's how you know it's talking about America being Babylon. Uh, uh, even spoken of in Revelations, all right, by the prophet John the Revelator. Okay, and Babylon was already destroyed at that time. So it's talking about a future Babylon. Um, and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, what city is like unto this great city? So, you know, America was vast, just like the Roman Empire. Everybody wanted to be like America. Look at China. They, America created Disney. China created Disney. You know, the media, the entertainment here and all that. And mainly because they had the children of Israel, to, you know. So now let me keep going. Stay on point. Verse 19. And they cast dust upon their heads and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, that great city wherein were made rich all that had ships in the sea by reason of the of her costliness for in one hour she is made desolate man see they were trading with that dollar all right back and forth but now um they getting they getting richer and richer cuz america's gdp is trash man their debt to gdp ratio their gross domestic product how much they sell compared to how much they're buying. Well, they're buying more than they can sell. They're not selling anything. They're just buying. They're selling the dollar, but that's, that's not really selling anything. All right? So, so now they're buying more than they're selling. And even the things that they're buying is not being imported correctly now due to a lot of mandates and restrictions. And also um, sanctions that they've been putting on each other because of Trump. So let me get to this point um, to show that this place is the, it was known as a rich and costly uh, horror, man, Babylon, a great city. For It says, Re rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets. That's what we, we're rejoicing. Uh, Yahweh right to we're in the, I'm in that number two. For Yahweh hath avenged you on her. And a mighty angel took up a stone, like a great millstone, and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall the great city, Babylon, be thrown down. That sea represents the people. It's going to be missiles that get dropped right into this place, man. And the Lord was showing that with giant ICBM missiles. That great city Babylon shall be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. All right, so look at this. Um, all right, so back at Jeremiah 51 and uh, 13. O thou that dwellest upon many waters, abundant in treasures, thine end is come. See, this is the beginning of troubles for this place and begin of Jacob's trouble. All right. And the measure and the measures of thy coveted covetousness. So the the measure of America's wickedness is, is at its point. Matter of fact, uh it says this Job fourteen and five, seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that the that he cannot pass. All right, so the Lord has a certain moment 
All right, Isaiah 34 and 8, because we're in the time of the Lord's vengeance. For it is the day of the Lord's vengeance and the year of recompense. Recompenses for the controversy of Zion, man, for the elect of Israel. And the streams thereof shall be turned into pitch, man, the streams. All right, we're talking about the rivers and the lakes in this place going to be turned into burning pitch, like Sodom and Gomorrah. All right. And it says, um, and the dust thereof into brimstone, and the land thereof shall become burning pitch, man. It's just like uh, you have the streets paved in asphalt, which is basically a form of petroleum, flammable, especially when it's ignited with some nuclear fire. Man, it's going to light up like a matchbook. So it's all, it's all um, setting ready to go. Verse 10, it shall not be quenched night nor day. So the Lord not going to put the fire out. He's going to let it burn up. The smoke thereof shall go up forever from generation to generation. It shall, it shall lie waste. None shall pass through it forever and ever. So we're going to tell stories to our children and the children's children about it. I see, that's, that was the land of our captivity. All right? But nobody's going to be able to go into it. But the com the comorant, where was that? Um, and the bittern shall possess it, and the owl and the raven shall dwell in it. So it's going to be a place for swamp animals. That's it. That, a lot of animals that can withstand heat and, uh, and, the, and uh, the swamps. All right? And the scavenge. And he shall stretch out upon it the line of confusion and the stones of emptiness. So at that moment, it's going to be known that this is Babylon. And all the merchants standing off on the ocean, looking at it, right, and seeing it be destroyed. And even now, you have these migrants. Let's get that real quick. You have these migrants showing up, and they, they're heaping unto themselves all people. But... This is the tipping of the scale right here, man. It's, you know, they're going to try to blame that. Probably say hey, that's the reason for the crash of the economy or something. You never know, man. Just never know what Esau up to. But let me finish this out. Um, yeah. Jeremiah 51 and 13. O thou that dwellest upon many waters, abundant in treasures, Thine end is come, man. So we have the end of this place, this empire, uh, Babylon, uh, you know. And the measure of thy covetousness. So America has reached its limit. O thou that dwellest, oh, 14, Yahweh of hosts of armies have sworn by himself, saying, surely, surely I will fill thee with men. All right. So hey, they want to gather unto themselves many people. What the Lord says, surely I will fill thee with men as with caterpillars and they shall lift up a shout against thee. So ultimately it's going to be an army against this place. The UN troops. All right. United Nations troops, man, gang members, terrorists, all kind of shit. The scriptures say hell from beneath has uh, rise up to, risen up to meet thee at thy coming. And it stir up the dead for thee. So a lot of our two-thirds are coming over here too. <laughs> and these heathen nations. So yeah, man, we're seeing the demise of Babylon and the fall of their leader, Biden. And it's all um, staged. All right. So hey, man, don't fall asleep. Just stay in the spirit and keep doing the work. And hopefully uh, some of them will be of the small multitude and be delivered that's coming over here. All right, so with that, I'm going to say, uh, Shalom. But the Lord said he's going to fill this place with men. All right, and that's all part of prophecy.